Today we are going to dive deep into the fascinating topic of the role of women in the early church. This is a subject that is often overlooked, but it is incredibly empowering and inspiring to see the vital roles that women played in the early days of Christianity. First off, let's start by looking at some of the women mentioned in the New Testament who were key figures in the early church. One of the most well-known women in the Bible is Mary Magdalene. She was a follower of Jesus and was present at the crucifixion, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Mary Magdalene was the first person to see Jesus after he rose from the dead, and she was tasked with spreading the news of his resurrection to the disciples. This shows the immense trust and responsibility that Jesus placed in her, highlighting the important role that women played in spreading the message of Christianity. Another prominent woman in the early church was Phoebe. Phoebe is mentioned in the Book of Romans as a deaconess of the church in century A. Deaconesses were women who served in leadership roles within the church, providing care and support to the community. Phoebe is described as a benefactor of many, including Paul, and she is commended for her work in the church. This demonstrates the significant contributions that women made to the early church, both in leadership positions and in supporting the ministry of the apostles. We also cannot overlook the influence of Priscilla, who is mentioned multiple times in the New Testament alongside her husband Aquila. Priscilla and Aquila were missionaries who worked closely with the Apostle Paul, teaching and spreading the gospel throughout the Roman Empire. Priscilla is often mentioned before her husband, underscoring her leadership and authority in their partnership. Together, they are powerful examples of a husband and wife team working together in ministry, showcasing the equality and partnership that existed between men and women in the early church. Moving on to the Book of Acts, we encounter Lydia, a prominent woman who is described as a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira. Lydia is a significant figure because she is the first recorded convert to Christianity in Europe. She opened her home to Paul and his companions, providing them with hospitality and support. Lydia's conversion and hospitality played a crucial role in the spread of Christianity in the region, demonstrating the influential role that women played in bringing others to faith. In addition to these individual women, we must also consider the role of women in the early church community as a whole. Women were actively involved in the life of the church, participating in worship, prayer, and the sharing of the gospel. They ministered to one another, cared for the sick and needy, and played key roles in the growth and development of the early Christian community. Women were not sidelined or marginalized in the early church. On the contrary, they were essential to its flourishing and expansion. One of the most empowering aspects of the early church was the recognition of women as co-workers and partners in the gospel. In his letter to the Galatians, Paul famously writes, There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. This radical statement affirms the equal status and value of all believers, regardless of social status or gender. Women were not treated as inferior or subordinate in the early church, but were valued as equal participants in the kingdom of God. As we look back on the stories of these women in the early church, we are reminded of the significant contributions that they made to the spread of Christianity. Their courage, faithfulness, and leadership inspire us to continue in their footsteps, boldly proclaiming the gospel and serving the church with passion and dedication. The women of the early church remind us that God's kingdom is inclusive and diverse, welcoming people from all backgrounds and empowering them to fulfill their calling and purpose. In conclusion, the role of women in the early church is a rich and compelling aspect of Christian history that deserves to be celebrated and remembered. The stories of Mary Magdalene, Phoebe, Priscilla, Lydia, and many others challenge us to rethink our assumptions about gender roles in the church and to embrace the diversity and equality that God intended for his people. As we reflect on the empowering stories of women from scripture, may we be inspired to live out our faith with boldness and conviction, knowing that God has called each of us, regardless of gender, to be his ambassadors in the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the empowering stories of women in the early church. We hope that you have been inspired and encouraged by their faith and dedication. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more content on Christian history and theology. And remember, the role of women in the early church is a testament to the power and beauty of God's diverse and inclusive kingdom. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, may you be blessed and encouraged in your walk with Christ. Take care and God bless.